Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is season 5 episode 4 of City Signings now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 60 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers we're trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would be massively massively appreciated it's free to do so and it massively does help out the channel make sure you turn your post notifications on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. If you didn't already check out yesterday's video as well, it's my thoughts on Sam Hornbit, Kean Skills, Matty Fault, and George Sikora all signing new contracts with Bradford City. Although that doesn't count as an actual City signings episode, I still put contract extensions in the playlist. So technically, this is episode five, but we're going to stick with episode four. The only players that are actually signing who we've not just played for us in the season just gone we'll get a brand new episode all for themselves but enough of the nonsense today we are here to talk about lee angle he has joined on a one-year deal from leighton orin out of all the signings so far what i can judge from the fan base on social media this one seems to be the most underwhelming but if you look a little bit more into his stats and stuff like that i don't think it's a bad one at all so make sure you drop a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's video so for once i was actually awake before a signing was announced i was literally well my college had literally just started i actually finished it yesterday as well finally finished for the year so i've got about two and a half months off now so as soon as something comes out i'm going to try and get the video out as soon as possible if it is on like a a Monday to Friday, I'll be uploading it at a four o'clock time. If it's on a Saturday or a Sunday, I'm going to be trying to get it up as soon as possible. But at 8.52 in the morning yesterday, Bradford City tweeted saying, breaking news, we are delighted to announce the signing of striker Lee Angle, who arrives at the Utility Energy Stadium on an initial one-year deal. The article does then read, Lee right angle for Bantams. The 26-year-old has spent the last two seasons at Leighton Orient scoring seven goals in 33 starts before the expiry of his contract in East London at the end of the 2020-21 campaign. The 6 foot 2 inch front man rose through Tottenham Hotspur's academy before beginning his professional career with Wickham Wanderers in 2012. A prolific season on loan at Boreham Wood earned Angle a move to Peterborough United where he found that on 12 occasions he's also served spells that like of Lincoln City, Shrewsbury Town and Mansfield Town. We're going to go um, a little bit more into his stats and his time at different clubs uh, after we have gone through the article. He said it has come out of nowhere a little bit but I'm really pleased to be here and looking forward to get going. I've spoken to the gaffer about the project we are building and I'm very grateful for the opportunity he has given me which I am ready to attack. My aim as a striker is obviously to score goals and help win games for the team and I'm excited about what is to come. It has been a strange past few years for me but I just want to get going again. I'm more driven and focused on succeeding than ever so. Hopefully, I can bring all that to this club. Bantam's boss, Derek Adams, added, Lee's a dangerous forward who will bring a lot to our side and we are delighted to have him here. He is excited to get started and fits in with what we are trying to build at Bradford City. Despite being only 26 and still having the best years ahead of him, Lee has a lot of experience at this level and above, having scored goals for a number of sides across the EFL. I am pleased to be welcoming him to the club and look forward to seeing him out on the grass when we commence pre-season training next week. Angle is available to sponsor ahead of the 2021-22 season. He's signed and is obviously subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. So, as I was speaking about earlier, when it got announced, uh, well, Leighton Orient fans were, were laughing, um, but when we said Connor Wood was an average left back, we were obsessed and rent free in Leighton Orient fans' heads. But as soon as you know we sign a Leighton Orient player and you know they all laugh and stuff like that, that's completely normal and acceptable. So Leighton Orient very weird fan base but yeah it, i don't think it's a bad signing to be honest with you i feel like this is a clayton donaldson replacement donaldson was probably on a lot of money you know I, I guess maybe around three grand a week that's just a complete guess i have absolutely no idea whereas lee angles coming in on a one-year deal so even if it doesn't work out it's only one year deal he'll just see through this season it, like, it's, it's a win-win you know what i mean he's not gonna be on loads of money will lee angle it's probably a donaldson replacement you're six foot two he's that target man so i'll hold the ball up sort of striker andy cook as much as he's a big physical man he's not the tallest um, he does still win a lot in the air, but the angle's going to come in, add that physicality, add that height. And I think yeah, I think he's going to do well for us. I think he will probably get between five and ten goals for us, which, you know, as a... He's not the main goal. I say if Andy Cook's the main goal scorer, Lee Angle probably comes in as that backup. It looks like Derek Adams 
likes to play with one striker. So if we do go with a, a 4-2-3-1, a 4-3-3 formation, then it probably will be Andy Cook as first choice. Lee Angle that can then, if it's not working for Andy Cook, Angle can come off the bench or we need a goal. You know, it's an extra body up there. It's a bit of height and you know, probably a little bit of physicality as well that he can add. And if we move on to his goal record, um, granted, uh, the two years he just spent with Leighton Orient, five goals in 38 appearances isn't the greatest. I believe this is... Just in the league, I'm not really too sure to be honest with you. I'm just currently looking at his Wikipedia. Uh, he had a, a loan spell with Lincoln City for half a season. He only played twice. Uh, in the 2018-19 season, he was with Shrewsbury Town. He played 17 times there, only scoring three goals. But then in the 2017-18 season, he played for Mansfield. Got nine goals in 29, which, you know, it's not bad. He had a loan spell with Lincoln in, in 2017 for half a season. Scored five times in 11 games, which is not bad. That's averaging uh, a goal every, well, just over a goal every two games. Uh, he was then with Peterborough. I'm obviously going in reverse order. He was with Peterborough. He signed a three-year deal with Peterborough, so they must have seen something in him after he uh, scored 25 goals for Boreham Wood. Peterborough then snapped him up where he got 12 goals in 46, but I don't actually know what league Boreham Wood were in at the time in 2014-15, but to get 25 goals in 39 games is you know, not too shabby at all. But we'll have to see how how he gets on he has obviously recently joined us only on a, a one-year deal so even if it doesn't work out even if he scores three goals and he's absolutely terrible then we can just let him go at the end of the season you know i personally think it, it's not a bad sign it's quite clearly as i've already stated probably will be a donaldson replacement just on cheaper money and obviously donaldson's gone to york in the national league north so probably is a little bit better than donaldson as much as i did love him we had the famous um poster thing behind me that has now been replaced for the glorious england shirt with Drake. 10 on the back obviously this is the, uh, the I think it's Polion's match weren't one top from 17 18 I want to say but the, the sticker thing came off in the wash so now he just says I'm number six I don't know who was number six then maybe Vince a lot completely irrelevant get your thoughts in it down in the comments below what are your thoughts on Lee Angle joining from Leighton Orient on a one-year deal personally I don't think it's a bad signing at all and just before we end today's video, I just want to talk a little bit as well about Mark Truman. Yesterday, he was officially appointed Bradford City's new assistant manager. Now, I haven't actually had time to read into it or anything like that, but he, he was originally given a three-year deal to be the academy to first team coach link, which we've never seen before, I don't believe, at Bradford City. But yesterday, he did get officially announced as the new Bradford City assistant manager. Obviously, Connor Sellers left Bradford City. He'll probably go get a job with his dad or his. You know, his dad's got a lot of contacts. I believe his dad he works something at Wolves, maybe in the academy. So Connor Sellers can probably get something, uh, probably a little bit better financially, maybe. But fair play to Mark Truman. You know, he's been rewarded for his loyalty as the assistant manager. We can give him a nice little welcome to Bradford City. Um, you know, on the first preseason game back. Obviously, preseason has now been announced. It was announced quite a while ago. If you haven't already got your tickets for any of the games, I'd highly advise that you go do that if there is any still available to purchase. I've got my guys' tickets. I'm absolutely buzzing. To to be back i just can't wait to you know start the vlogs again and all that sort of stuff but that is where i am gonna leave today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always will be massively appreciated can we try and hit 60 likes as i said at the start of the video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would be massively massively appreciated come over and follow me on twitch for pretty much every day of the week now i'm gonna be live streaming now that i'm not at college i'm gonna be live at least five or six times a week gonna be trying to stream around eight hours a day so make sure you come over and drop me a follow even if you just drop in for two hours because you're bored just come over and drop me a follow once we hit 2,000 followers as well over there you guys can start earning a free subscription to the channel which if you don't know subs on twitch is like five pound a month or you can subscribe for free with twitch prime and you know you just get loads of perks you get sub emotes you get advert free viewing you get access to subscriber only chat loads more stuff as well so make sure you come over and drop me a follow over on twitch have a great rest of your day and i shall see you all in the next video Peace.